I have to say there are a few things better than just ordinary cooked sausages, but I make these things called pigs and blanket for uh, children's parties because you know my children like them and because I can't resist the name. And a pig in blanket is a little sausage covered in a cheese scondo. And the virtue of a cheese scondo is that it's incredibly easy to make. You just start off with 375 grams of self-raising flour. I mean, the original pig in blanket, I think it's a wartime recipe. And they tended to use a potato pastry, I suppose, just because it sort of bulked everyone up. But um, believe me, I don't need too much bulking. Right? And, as I say, it's cheese scone, and I use Red Leicester, about 25 grams, because I like the colour. It doesn't matter, use whatever you want. Just grate it in, and look, these wonderful kind of tangerine green curls. Okay, and that to be... So basically, this is, with the addition of some salt, and I think it must be fairly salty. And then, really, this is just my bowl full of dry ingredients, and all I'm going to do now is to stir in some liquid ingredients. So for that, I've got 250 mils of full-fat milk. I need some vegetable oil, about three tablespoons. I mean, butter would be the sort of more normal way of doing it, but you would have to melt the butter. And the reason why I use vegetable oil, because it means the children can do this by themselves, because obviously I wouldn't want them you know, melting butter by themselves. Right and an egg. Just fork this together and just pour this in here and just fork it through. Go cautiously because flour absorbs liquid differently depending on the weather, depending on the batch of flour, everything. You just have to go by eye. So I do need quite a bit more flour in here. You want this to be kind of sticky and tender and soft, but it has not to be so sticky that it will stick to the work surface when you roll it out. A bit more flour, just for, for rolling purposes. Now this dough is so easy, you can really either sort of pat it out or roll it out. So I just want a bit of patting, just because I love the feel of it. And now some rolling, a kind of rough rectangle. It doesn't really matter what shape it is, but you want it fairly thin because the self-raising flour will make them puff up and these are, you remember, pigs in blankets, not pigs in duvets. Okay, that's about right. And then cut this into, I don't know, strips. You can see what size these sausages are, so it's just going to have to contain that. So just put the sausage into this edge and then roll up. And there we are, this is Piggy in its blanket. So I'm just going to carry on swaddling these babies and then when I've got a full nursery there, I'm going to brush them with some egg, sort of whisk with some salt, just to give a wonderful golden colour and also sort of more savoury oomph. And then bake them in a hot oven, about 220, for, I don't know, 10 to 15 minutes, then just they'll be lovely out of the oven, on the table, into mouths. Mm -hmm.